One of the biggest questions creators have to answer is when is the best time to post content? It's from 11 to one. This is wrong. This I'm going to explain why in this video. I want to share with you how I grew my account from nothing, zero, to over 120,000 followers now on Instagram and Facebook, doing it all organically and authentically. No bots, no follows, no gimmicks, no crazy programs. Or that's what I'm going to help you achieve. And that's what this series and this channel is all about. Don't be fooled by the stat that you need to post between 11 and 1 p.m. There are approximately 1.3 billion, that's billion with a B, posts on Instagram per day, 11 oh. to 1. And that is when the maximum flood of posts is going to occur. That that time is going to be the most saturated time for any content that's going to get pushed out. But I'm going to tell you what that metric truly says. That metric just points to when users are active. That does not mean that for your content, that is the best time to post. If you post during 11 to 1, you're going to be competing in an oversaturated market. That means your content has to be so good that it has to stand out from all of the other content that's being pushed out. At what that. you need to do is begin posting at various times. I know make a post in the morning one day, make a post in the afternoon the next, make one in the evening, and rinse and repeat this for say a week or two. Your posts are now not competing during the traffic jam of 11 to one. Your posts are on the highway flowing through and you have a better chance of hitting your audience at various hours. Because as of right now, especially if you're a new account, you still don't know who the audience is. Instagram doesn't know who the audience is. And you so will see those analytics come through, through your profile and your insights. And you're going to see one, when your audience is active and two, where you're pulling most of the audience members from. So we're going to cast the widest net possible. Of you're going to start to be able to get analytics of your user base, what cities they're in, what time zones they're in, what countries they're in, if you're going outside of the US, and when they are active with your content. In the end, it might be that 11 to 1 of when they're active. Only, Only then can you figure it out. If you kick it off at that 11 to 1, you're competing with everybody else, and you're going to have a difficult time. Don't make the same mistake that many creators make by sitting in that traffic jam and then getting frustrated because you're not getting anywhere. Get out. Take the exit, get back on when traffic is light, and you'll get more visibility, you'll reach a wider audience, and you'll be able to develop that following that you're looking for. There's one thing you have to understand as a creator. Not only is it reaching an audience or gaining a following, but your followers need to want to engage with your content. If you're only by casting that wide net, getting people who actually wanna see your content, will Instagram realize who they need to send your way, who they need to share your content with. And that's how your account's gonna grow. And once that gets set up and Instagram figures you out, they'll continue to push out your content. One because more aspect to consider is you are never gonna have the perfect timing. Even when you do analysis and even when you start posting and getting engagement, sometimes you'll post something and you're not gonna get the engagement that you normally get, that you've expected to get. I'll give you one tip that I learned along the way, and that is this. Most people want to post their content and wait for it to go viral immediately. If you post something and it doesn't automatically take off, don't be discouraged. This is why we talk about consistency. I've had so multiple posts that started out with minimal views, less than normal engagement, that a couple days, even a couple weeks, I've had some up to a month that later they just begin to pick up traction. Views get into the millions, you have thousands of followers, and that's what you want. So as long as you're consistent and you're putting quality content up, you will get those views, even if it's not right out the gate. Sometimes it takes days and weeks for content to pick up traction, for the algorithm to begin to push it out, and for it to go viral. I hope you enjoyed this episode today, and I hope you stick around for the next one. We're going to continue this growth. Leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to continue to give you tips that I learned along the way and strategies that you can implement specifically for your account. Remember, no hacks, no gimmicks, no costs, just you taking a little bit of time to navigate the ecosystem and you will be rewarded by the algorithm for doing it that way. If you have a few questions, drop it in there as well. 
I'll try to reach out and give some advice where I can. Again, we're all in this together. We don't lose anything by helping each other out. I uh, hope you stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.